Hi, Julia Watts here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to create a card, uh, a square shaped card with a frame and we're going to be using some of the elements from the Festive Charm um, Creative Pack, which is new from Sentimentally Yours. We're going to be using one or two other bits from the new Festive Collection as well. So um, just to recap, uh, we're using the Festive Charm uh, creative pack which is one of the brand new packs released under the um, in the Christmas collection for 2023. There's 319 elements in this kit. Uh, you get 24 A4 sheets, two sheets of 12 designs and they're all 250 GSM which is a card weight and there is another video on my YouTube channel which is what you're on at the moment, Julia Watts Crafts, um, that shows you all the pages um, in detail. There are five background papers and seven different uh, topper sheets and uh, you get two sheets of each and there's also the bonus uh, one on the front so you actually get 320. So we're going to be using a paper from that and we're using this uh, kind of snow flurry paper which is kind of in grey tones and um, you have a look at that it's got a, a, a grain and I've got the grain going down on this one. We're also going to be using one of the brand new 8x8 stencils from Sentiment, Sentiment to Yours called Snowflake Flurry. So we're going to be doing this first. We're going to be getting our background all ready um, so that it's drying while we're making the rest of the card. So we're going to pop the stencil. First of all, I think what we'll do so the paper doesn't move is we'll pop a little bit of low tack tape on here this is scotch low tack tape you will find everything i'm using on my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk except for this um low tack tape because um i can't get it anymore but you can find it on amazon um it has gone up quite a lot actually it, i think it's something like 5.99 now there's a little bit missing there, but that's fine. That's going to be hidden underneath the frame. I'm going to move that back just a wee bit. I can't remember how close my frame's going to be. Just That's just so it doesn't move on the mat. And then we're going to pop the stencil on top. You can see it's well big enough. And the frame we're going to pop round um, is going to be the biggest frame I can get out of my uh, deboss double stitch uh, squares. So I'll pop that down there like that. Just to stop it moving really more than anything and pop one down here as well okay so what we're going to be using first of all is picket fence distress ink now you could use gesso but i'm going to be using some of the craft artist um ink brushes um so i don't want to actually put gesso on these mainly because i don't want to wash them out which is really lazy of me but you could use gesso but we're going to use a picket fence distress ink first of all and i've just re-inked this and you can see that the ink is still sitting on the surface but that's okay because that just means my brush is going to pick it up so that's absolutely fine also the brush helps it move around as well Just working through actually the brushes are much better than the sponges when you've got something like uh, this background uh, this stencil because there's so many kind of spiky bits on the stencil the brush can cope with it whereas you will actually destroy your sponges um, they'll get nicked a little bit so a brush is the better way to go unfortunately I'm a very, very impatient, so um, I do like my sponges. I don't really need to put any on the um, in the middle because I'm going to be covering up with a, a topper. But so you can see the full effect, we are going to do the whole thing. Probably won't show up a lot. But I'm going to do something else to it as well, which will make it stand out more, I hope. I can't remember which ones we've been on and which ones we haven't. 
we'll have a peek in a minute. Picket fence is a different kind of sort of distress ink. It's more like an oxide, but it's in the distress ink family. As it was actually bought out long before our oxides were actually released. So you can get reinkers, as I said. That's what your reinker looks like. And I do have those in stock as well. If anything on my website that you want is out of stock, just click on the email when available and you'll be notified as soon as it's back in stock. However, if, it, if you're purchasing from the clearance section or the pre-love section, then uh, they won't be back. It's, it's, once it's gone, it's gone. I'm not sure if I want in there or not. We've got all these little snowflake, uh, snow flurries in between as well. Let's see if we can get all of those. The brush are going in all the nooks and crannies for me. So let's have a look now. With your brushes, you're best off just keeping one brush per colour family if you can. Yeah, you can see. I can see it. Look at that. That's fab, isn't it? Right. Let's see if we can pop it down in the same place. I think we're there, or as near as. So actually what I want to do now is give that a wipe in my chair, gently wipe off some of the excess ink. And it's of the distress family so you should be able to just, while it's wet, you should just be able to wipe it off of your stencil. I mean, obviously, the, the other thing you can do is actually wash it, but we want to make sure it goes back in the same place. Then we're going to use some te texture medium. So it looks lovely as it is, but I want it to really pop a little bit more. So the uh, flawless media um, texture medium goes on white, but it will dry clear. And so that should give us nice, glossy white snowflakes on our background. That's the idea anyway. spatula I've got one let's hope so didn't think that through I did have one but it broke unfortunately okay so I found them yay so we're going to pop some of the texture medium just along that top edge and I've got a new tool that I'm going to try out which I haven't tried before, so there's nothing like a video to actually start you off. Okay, I'll do. I must admit, this texture medium has been brilliant. It has, I've not used it for absolutely ages and it hasn't dried up, which is just, it's kind of unheard of really. Let's just dry that off. And then I have, Woodware's craft scraper set, pack of two, which you will also find on my website. You can see they're brand new. I'll get in the packet. And they're kind of a little bit flexible. And, and they've got little eyelets as well, so you can store them. So we can just pull that on the surface. I think we need a little bit more down here. Let's see if we can be frugal and just use what we've got. It shouldn't. You know when you go with a scrap, um, just a scraper. Sometimes you catch things and go underneath. This shouldn't happen with this. I think we're done. That's good. A little bit that can go back in the pot. It should be fairly even as well. Let's see if we can get that a little bit more even. Exactly. With the pigeons. 
We have a lot of pigeons here. I've got, I think that pigeons are quite funny. They make me giggle. I'll we'll wash that off properly in a minute. And then we'll do the reveal. There's it. Put my top on. It's always a good idea, actually. Let me just get off this. Sorry about all the noise from my chair. Right, it's a good idea just to wipe around the top. And that way, you can always get into your jar. So let's have a look at this. Hopefully it hasn't started to dry. It's super warm here at the moment. Don't forget that you can always clean off your stencil as well. Just pulling this off carefully. Come on, hope you haven't stuck. So I've taken my time. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. That looks wonderful. Right, I'm going to clear up and then we'll continue on with our card. Okay, so my background all is all nice and dry now. And we've got this lovely, glossy snowflakes. Just pick that up. So remember, we've got the picket fence underneath and then I left the... Um, the, the stencil in place, the snowflake glory stencil in place, and then went over with the flawless media um, texture medium. Now, if you want it more pearly, what you can do is you can mix the um, Lunar Pearl Radiant Luster Pigment Powder with the texture medium on your mat and then pop that through the stencil and then you'll get more of a pearly finish. But I wanted the gloss finish on top of the picket fence. And I did pop it underneath something really heavy overnight to flatten it. So let's think about what we're going to do. So it's going to be a square card and I've got the largest frame that I could cut out of the debossed double stitched squares. And so this is the largest die. Then I use the next size die to for spacing and then the, the, the next but one die. So largest, next but one die. Uh, and to do the inner frame. Obviously the fallout is going to be stitched as well so I've got that separate to use on another project. So that's what we're going to do. I've also got the, um, from the sentiment edges that were out earlier this year, I've got uh, the to both of you and we're going to have the to both of you down here. I think I want to stick it underneath the frame like so. So we'll need to do that before we put the foam tape on. And I've also got from the new sentiment, put this to one side, we've also got from the new sentiment edges for Christmas. I can't pick this up, I've got it in a try. Here we go. Happy Christmas, the backer and the happy Christmas, um, the actual words. And as before, you get um, two sets. So you've got a smaller one, um, sentiment and then the, the uh, shadow and then you've got the larger one which is about eight inches uh, just over eight inches long um, and, and there are six new Christmas sentiment edges so the backer uh, the shadow I've cut out the sumptuous scarlet premium uh, cardstock and then this is the majestic blue luster card so you see it's got a lovely shimmer to it so we're going to stick that down and I tend to, I mean, I use the Sentiment to Yours PVA all the time. And I tend to put a, a bead just along the main part here. Like so. And then I scribble some out onto my mat. So if you've got a batch of them, it's best to do them all together so you don't waste much glue. Having said that, in this weather, which is currently quite warm, um, it does um, dry quite quickly. Put a little bit there, definitely leave that there. Then with my tweezers, I'm going to pop that into the glue. Make sure that we push it in there so all the edgy bits have got glue on them. my S has got some on. 
and then just focus on one of the words. So I'm going to focus on happy. We should all focus on happy, really, shouldn't we? And Christmas. And that has a border each side. Okay, that's beautiful, very easily done. It's quite dark, isn't it? Let's see. There we go, you can see that better like that. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry. Clean up our mess. The glue comes off the mat really easily. If you haven't got what a mat, then you definitely need to invest in it. They last for a very, very long time, and this has been quite abused. Every now and again I swap them, but uh, they last a long time. Okay, so that's that. What I do want to do is from the Festive Charm, which is the, where the background papers come from. This is the Festive Charm Creative Pack. And um, from this sheet here, I've got this border, snowflake border. So I'm going to pop that on my background. I'm going to do that first because I'm going to pop a frame around it. And I'm going to have it slightly up because what I want to do is put a topper on. And this is cut from the new Charmed Snowflake Circles. If I can pick them up. I think you get them on a maybe on an A5. I'm not sure what size magnetic sheet you get them on. You do get them on a magnetic sheet. Obviously, I don't get them on a magnetic sheet. So you've got lots and lots of dies on here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dies on here. So there's a lot of dies. And for each layer, you've got this does cut out. That's that's as is there. And then the next layer is going to give you a double stitched circle. So that's going to coordinate perfectly with my double stitched square frames with coordination as mr m would say and then you get the same on all the sizes even down to this teeny tiny one here in the center which you're going to be able to cut tiny sentiments out of and then rather than waste that space in the center phil's done you a little snowflake really really good set so that's your charm snowflake circles which is brand new for what Christmas 2023 so I want to have that up slightly on there so I'm, I'm gonna rather than have it in the middle so let me think about where my frame is going to go so I don't have it up too high frame is going to go there so that's going to be fine do watch your snowflakes because they're very very fine very delicate and you don't want to damage them let's glue this down in place do you want to glue it? Yes, I'll glue it. That's my frame. I'm going to have it about there. So I think it's going to go about there. This is where I don't do straight very well. Look straightish. Hang on, if I move that over a bit, I should be able to get it straight on the edge. Thankfully, because the um, texture paste is underneath, it helps. Okay, we're going to go with that. That needs to dry. Don't need to put um, the Topper bits on yet. I can do that in a minute. We'll put our frame around in a sec. <clears throat> can we cut that off? Yes, we can cut that off. Scissors, scissors, scissors. I'll be done with my long scissors. that just in case I want to tuck it in anywhere on another project or of course I can cut out probably I can get a circle out of that look 
so don't waste anything. Right, let's think about our frame now. Now, let's get our sentiments. I think I want this one tucked in. If I'm going to tuck the, the bottom one in, I've got to tuck the top one in as well. So if I'm going to tuck this in, then we need to do it like that. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. That'll work. Okay. Right, so you've got choices really. So you can have it so that it's bang, slap bang in the middle ish. Never, never perfect. And this one can be in the middle down here as well. It's always good to have a bit of a bath first. And you know exactly what you're doing because it changes. So have that in the middle like so. Let's get rid of this. Maybe you've got that. So you can have it like that, so it's in the middle. But what you can also do is you could also have it so that you have your Happy Christmas towards the left, like that. And you can have your, to both of you, to the right. Like that. So you could have it offset like that. I'm not going to, I prefer it in the middle ish. So that's what we're going to do. So, what we need to do is pop some glue on our stem bit. I'm sure it's not called a stem bit. making this look faffier than it is. Always the way. Doesn't help in the heat either. Okay. And we'll have a little bit of glue on this stem bit here. Like so. Obviously that's not stuck yet. It might not even get stuck to be honest. And then a bit under here. I'm not too worried if the glue seeps a bit because I have this wonderful adhesive eraser that will get rid of it. Lift that up. Put some glue on this side. I just think it's a little bit neater if you have them underneath. It's just personal feeling, isn't it? And while we're waiting for that to dry, what we are going to do also is we're going to pop some corners on. So there is some oh, glue. There's some corners which are inferred by some of the toppers. There's some corners on this sheet here, which is just just top. There's, there is more to that sheet than just that, obviously. Um, but you've got kind of rectangular corners, but then below there, just tucked in, there are some square sort of corners. And these are the squarish ones. I have cut one of every single sheet out, not two, one. Um, are these the rectangular or the squares? I think these are the smaller ones anyway. So this is going to go, we're going to have one down here. One up there. I think they're in pairs. I don't know. That, that's definitely off of that. Let me just check I've got the right ones. Lovely, isn't it? Little 
tray of goodies. <laughs> Makes your making a lot quicker if you do go through the pain of cutting everything out. So they are opposites. Mm -hmm. So I don't actually think I want four of them. I think I just might have two like that. Ha ha ha, I don't think I like it with the opposites like that. So it should be like that way, which, which it wouldn't fit. Um, on the um, on the top of sheet, is it with with that way? Because Phil's crammed as many as he can on there. I think we'll try that. Just with one on top and one on the bottom. I might change my mind. <laughs> I guess that's my prerogative, isn't it, to change my mind? Do you know what? We're not going to put them on just yet. I'm going to think about it, and then we we'll perhaps do it just right at the very end there's a decision for you so keep those two out hokey cokey this is probably drying out so we just snip that off nice and neat if i can see what i'm doing we go through two pieces of card which is not always easy Fly everywhere. That's one. Not to say I've got it hard. Okay. There we go, there's our nice neat frame. So we'll pop our foam tape on this now. And we're going to go for two millimetre foam tape. Is woodwork foam tape. And I'm going to just give them this where the sentiment goes over the edge just so that it's not a little bit deeper there. It won't matter, it'd be absolutely fine. And here. I'm going to go just onto that sentiment a little bit, just to grab it a little bit. Okay, bring that down here. Like so. That should be grabbed. Yeah, that's grabbed. Now on this, <coughs> excuse me, on this one. Quite a few frogs on my videos at the moment, which is really annoying. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra foam tape on the sentiment as well, so it doesn't go all saggy. We don't want a saggy bit. Probably a little hard to the little bit, a tiny bit. I know it's a little bit painful to watch, but you don't actually know what to do unless I show you, do you? Is that going to show? Fine. I might as well use that bit. Now a little bit on the two, like that. And just one little bit more. It. and we put that little bit there so that's going to be nice and anchored now on the background now the pain taking all this off it's big bits are easy i think if you frame your work it kind of sets it apart from anything else and it and obviously, I mean, dyes make things a lot look a lot more professional. Having said that, I do like a card that is just all stamped. So it's nice to have the option nowadays, isn't it? Oh, I can't get that bit. Let's go from the other side. Okay. 
And of course, if it's framed, you could actually um, pop it on the wall, couldn't you? Could be your a Christmas picture. So you could change the sentiments. So instead of having to both of you, could you could have um, you could use two of the Christmas um, sentiment ones. There's a I believe there's a Let It Snow. There's definitely a Merry Christmas, a Season's Greetings. Um, I think there's Peace, Love, Joy. I think there's a festive wishes as well. It's, you know, don't quote me on this, but because I'm just getting used to them all. Um, there is a lot. There's six, and they will work perfectly with um, some of your others. So you could say Happy Christmas just for you, or Seasons Greetings with Love. So you can definitely mix some of the everyday ones with the Christmas ones as well. Oh, come here. Obviously, if you're a glue gel person, you could use glue gel for this, but I'm not a glue gel person. I don't like it. But if we all like the same thing, it'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? Okie dokie, now let's get this frame on. I'll just stand up for this so I can see what I'm doing. Try and get that straight. And we'll turn it over and see how much we missed. Oh, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. Happy with that. I think we'll actually stick it on the card now. So I've got a piece of pure white at the back, some just scarlet, scarlet on the top, and then in between a very narrow um, majestic blue. Let's glue this down. And then we won't be battling with the exposed foam tape. You hear the pigeons? Now I've mentioned it, that's all you'll hear, isn't it? The pigeons. <laughs> shh, I'm making a video. Shh. No respect. Right, let's see. We've got a tiny border around here as well. Just a little hint of red. Let's just get I shouldn't really do this. I'm gonna get my poker tool, put a little bit of glue on. I'm just gonna lift up that. Down. So I'm not too worried if there's a little bit of glue that seats because I've got the adhesive eraser that helps. And we'll do it just on, I'm just doing it on the big letters. You can go around and faff with the smaller ones if you want to. I do one happy as well. Just a little bit. I've gone too far up. Stick. Okay, okay. It's looking good already, isn't it? Okay, so let's. Oh, what am I doing? Can't put a poker tool in there. Can I? Oh, the heat. Right. Let's start putting our topper on. So we're, I'm going to build this up. I'm going to build it up separate and then we'll pop it in the middle when it's done. So let's just glue the background paper. So this is the same background paper, paper as I've used at the back. So it, it coordinates beautifully. Again, from obviously from the festive charm paper pack. Um, I think... I don't want it to come out too much. I think I'm going to use one millimeter tape for this. No, I'm not. I'm going to, use, I'm going to glue this and then use one millimeter on the back of that. Let's glue this in place. I think 
for how to say it when it's that way. And we have the lighter colour at the bottom. Obviously it doesn't matter because you can turn the circle around. We have a lovely matting layer. Okay. And then for the next layer, we've got one of the toppers from the festive charm and I don't know if you can see it's, it's one of these it does actually have um which one is it? it's the red one it does actually have a blue and a um red um border to it but so that it fits on here better I've actually cut that off and you've just got the stitching let me show you just got the stitching showing otherwise you don't see much of the snowflakes so let's glue that on there I'm not going to add any extra ink or gesso or anything I'm just going to do it as is obviously this is more of a special card because it's a bigger card and you've got uh, die cuts on it but um, you can easily use the Yeah, let's do it so that that's in the middle. Um, let's. You can actually make very very quick cards, uh, very flat cards, with the kit, with the creative pack. Um, so it's great for bulk making. I mean, I would definitely have more than one of the um, creative packs if it was me. Um, it's going to go a long time, a long way, but if you've got a lot of cards to make or if you're doing a Christmas fair, uh, perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah, sit a couple of evenings, cut all your elements out and then you can have fun mixing and matching and seeing what will go and what won't go, etc, etc. Right, so this is going in the middle-ish. Like that, so we've got we've I've, I've alternated the presents, so they sit in the middle. I do struggle to see straight when we're uh, doing a video. Okay, so that's that one, and let's put the one millimeter in here. And put a few lines of it. Everything I'm using is available on my website, juliawatercrafts.co.uk, for shipping to UK addresses. You'll also find them on a, a Phil's store, which is Honeypot Crafts as well. Switch this off. You're nearly there. Just going to add a few embellishments. Some of the embellishments, I haven't done it yet, but some of the embellishments will look fabulous with some glossy accents added to them. Like the candy canes, look lovely with it, and some of the buttons. Let's see how we're going here. So this is going to go, let's just tuck it under slightly. Like that. And we're going to and get that underneath there and that underneath there like that. looks good doesn't it you put that topper on and it just finishes it off beautifully i have got some dents here where i put the um sentiment so i am going to put this here Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's see. Let me see on my feet. Ooh. I wonder if I should use some of these in the corner. Have a look. Yeah, that would be nice. Let's use that instead. That will glue that glue will dry. We can use that on another one. That's 
what we're doing. So I told you, I don't know much, change mind all the time. And it makes all the difference having little bits and pieces cut out. And those are nice. I like the little present ones as well. And there's a robin one. So we can have blue snowflakes or red snowflakes or a mix of the both. I think we might go blue snowflakes. Shh, pigeon. Making so much noise. Is that blue? It was. Cat hair and everything on that. That's an adhesive eraser. They are bigger than that, but I've cut mine down. Let's have that. I think I like that. That works. See? Have them all cut out and you can mix and match and change your mind as you go. Okay, Kofi, where are we at now? Right, we're going to glue these down. Oh, we could raise them. We could raise them, couldn't we? Let's have a look. I can always fetch it off. Let's raise them. We'll put one bit of foam tape. Then also raising them means that they won't get um, a little bit distorted by that sentiment underneath as well. And there's always ways to fix things. I have my snowflakes pointing downwards like that. Just like so. And then we'll do the other two. Nearly there. Okay, so that's going to go up like so. One here. Give a bit more. And so they look even. Which is hard to tell when it's flat. Okay, that looks good. Happy with that. Next. Okay, so I thought we'd also add some extra presents as well. Just coming out of the frame. Just to finish off. We've got our sentiment, we don't need another sentiment. Uh, what do we think? I think I think I was gonna have one there and perhaps another couple coming out of the frame there. It just kind of gives you a bit more movement. I think that's what I want. Or do I need to? I don't need to, but I'm going to. I've got a bit of glue on my finger that keeps on sticking. Right, okay. So uh, do we raise them or do we have them flat? I think we've got enough stuff that's raised actually. So I think we're going to just put them on flat. And then we can move them slightly if I'm not happy where they are. Like that. And we have You could put a little bit of extra foam tape underneath if you wanted to. There are also some embellishment dies as well that you could add to it. You could go completely overboard. But I think this kind of works as it is. So we'll just bring that down the line like so. And I think we're done. There's a lot of presents here that this person's going to get. So hold it up so you can see. Maybe loads and loads of presents. You could put another sentiment up there if you wanted to. So for example, there are lots and lots of little sentiment panels. So um, you could add something like, not, I don't think I'm going to, but you could add Christmas wishes in there. 
you wanted, you could add one of the circular sentiments that we've got. Don't forget the lot. Happy Christmas, which we've already said. Don't have to say it again. Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas. So, okay. If you ha you could have with love to but we could have with love to both of you and Merry Christmas on there if you wanted to. You don't want coughing the robin up. So there's lots and lots of different permutations that you can actually do, but I'm going to just call it a day and say that I've done enough on this. Obviously, if you're a glitter person, you can add glitter all over the place. Uh, of course, Mr. M would, a bit of Diamond Dazzle or um, your Crystal Aurora would look really lovely. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, there are other videos with the new festive collection on my web on, on my YouTube channel, and it would be lovely if you would like and subscribe. Uh, as I said, uh, everything is available on my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses, and uh, also available on Phil's store, Honey Pot Crafts. And uh, do comment on uh, the video if you can and um, have a look at some of the other videos as well and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's been useful enjoy your festive crafting and thank you for watching